Hi, it's Dr. Chris of Venture Chiropractic. And today I want to talk to you about what a can can actually tell us about your core and help show us how to do some of our core and back exercises for better results so we're not getting pain, we're actually helping prevent future pain from happening. My wife Melanie here has decided to help me out today to demonstrate a few things for you. But I want us to think concept here for just a few seconds. Okay, we all know that a uh, half crushed can like this, can with a dent in it, is a lot easier to crush the rest of the way, okay, than a can with straight sides on it, okay? A can with straight sides is actually pretty hard to crush even when it's empty. And that's why it's so important we coach a lot of patients through doing their core exercises, at least at the start, with a towel underneath their spine like this, okay? This is just underneath her lower ribs and lower back there. And what we want to do is talk about just holding that towel down. So if Melanie doesn't hold her back down, if she's just completely relaxed and not thinking about it, I might be able to steal that towel away from her with just a couple of fingers. But if she tightens up, go ahead and just tighten down to that towel a little bit. Now I can't steal that anymore, okay? Now it's going to help her get more out of any core exercise she does in this position, okay? That's taking the dent out of the can. She's no longer laying on the table like this. She's actually flattening that can back out and bringing it flat. And that's the neutral position. So when, when people online that you might see say, put your spine in neutral or uh, use a neutral core position, that's what they're actually talking about. They're talking about putting your lower back flat down to the surface that you're working on so that you're not going to hurt yourself and you're in a good, strong position to start with. That's going to keep your spine in the best position for your spine individually. We're all kind of different shapes and sizes. That's probably going to be one of the best ones for you. Okay. The other thing we talk about is a full can. We all know a full can is much, much harder to crush than an empty can. Okay. Right. You can just put a lot more pressure on it. So sometimes we might be doing exercises where we're not thinking about actually tightening these abdominal muscles. We might be getting into a good position, but we're not actually using the muscles that we want. So if your hip flexors are always getting tight before you feel like you've worked your abs, or if your neck gets tired before your abs do during sit-ups, that's probably your issue. So what we want to do is not only take the dent out of our can, go ahead and just tighten down that towel again for a million. Then we also want to put a little bit of air into our stomach. Usually we say, blow out like you're blowing up a big balloon. <sighs> go ahead and do that for me. So now these muscles are tight like the walls of a full can and she's in a neutral position. From that position, we're ready to actually work. So whether it's doing something like a dead bug exercise, can you put those arms up for me? And can we bring your hips up there? If I try to steal that away from her, go ahead and tap one heel down for me. I can't do that. Go ahead and tap the other heel down for me. Good, I can't do that. And she's staying really tight here with her abs. Go ahead and put that back down. Do I feel like you were working your abs on that or hurting your back? My abs. There you go. So, you know, she's feeling your abs, not any type of back pain when she's working on that. And that's going to be the best way for you to get results out of ab exercises. You can apply this same setup to dead bugs, crunches, uh, flutter kicks, um, side plank holds. This is the same rule we use in any other position, but we use the floor or a table like this as a jig to get your back set up initially. Eventually, when this is easy, when you don't need the cue from that towel, when you don't need something to press your back against, you can get into that tight core position, whether you're doing a side plank or performing a suitcase carry, standing and carrying weight, maybe just carrying groceries home from the store. Um, you can do that in any position. This is always going to be one of the strongest positions your spine can be in and really help prevent any pain issues and help you do the activities that you want to do. If you're having trouble feeling this at home, Give us a call at Venture Chiropractic. Let us help you out so you can experience what a comfortable core exercise should feel like to strengthen those back and core muscles all at the same time and reduce your pain. We're always here at Venture to help you move better, feel better, and be a better you. Make sure to comment down below if there's anything else that you'd like us to help you out with. And make sure to subscribe and leave a like so we can keep bringing you more great information every week.